These, these simple, stupid little adapters make a massive difference when it comes to budget gaming PCs. Specifically, upgrading older, cheap office PCs or workstations to make gaming computers. Look at them! Look how stupid they are. It's beautiful. As we kind of discovered in a previous video, when we're speaking practically, meaning just the average user who wants to do some budget gaming, as long as you have a decent GPU, you can really get away with running some older, inexpensive equipment for the rest of the components. One of the main setbacks in doing that previously came from the limitations on most of the stock power supplies that come in a lot of these older office-type computers. So let's briefly go over why that was the case, how the these types of adapters solve that problem, and the kind of doors these have opened up for budget PC gaming. In this video, I'm going to focus on this adapter targeted towards older HP models, which I haven't specifically tried before, but this won't be my first time using one of these types of adapters. I didn't really put an emphasis on it, but I've used them in a couple videos in the past, including the last video on this channel when I created this basic homemade sort of open wall mount. I used the Dell variation uh, of this adapter. In that video, I used this motherboard from an older small form factor Optiplex model, and thanks to the adapter, I was able to add a PSU with a GPU power connector that in turn allowed me to run this RX 570, a very low-cost budget GPU which ties everything together for a tidy little budget machine. At least it would have been tidy if I had enough patience to actually allow the paint to dry before I put it up on the wall. But that's neither here nor there. Per usual, I do want to quickly mention that there are GPUs that don't require these types of connectors. But generally speaking, those cards tend to throw up some barriers from a budget standpoint. And they do tend to cost significantly more than similar cards that do have those types of connectors. On top of that, just because the card doesn't require any extra connectors doesn't mean the stock PSU is even powerful enough to run it. But that being said, let's go into these adapters and what they mean for the budget PC game. First, for those who may not be familiar, what was the issue previously? Well, a lot of these older office PCs are cheap and often have surprisingly solid specs, but they also have power supplies with no connectors for a lot of decent budget GPUs. That means if you want to run a solid GPU like the GTX 1060, 1070, 1080, or a newer, better GPU like the RTX 2080, 3060, 3070, you get the idea you're going to be out of luck. On top of that, these stock power supplies often don't have enough wattage to even run the GPU. Now, if you want to swap out the stock power supply with a newer one that is powerful enough and or has the connectors for the graphics card, you might run into an issue. Many of these types of older computers have these sort of proprietary motherboard connectors. Usually a six-pin power connector, and in the case of several HP models, this smaller six-pin header. Modern and modern-ish PSUs very rarely have these types of connectors. Now, you could do what I did a few videos ago and use a random 1200-watt PSU and breakout board to power multiple graphics cards at once, but that's impractical for the average person especially if you only have one computer and don't want power supplies, wires, and all kinds of stuff strewn all over the place. Like some kind of deranged PC hoarder. But I, I really, I don't really know anyone like that. You could also try the nearly infallible pull noodle method. 
Or you could try one of these adapters. Not as fun, but might pan out. I haven't used every single one of these or used them heavily for years on end, but my experience with them has been pretty successful so far. So as always, kind of use discretion, but they do seem to be pretty decent. And on top of all that, you can usually find these for just around $5. As a demonstration, I'm going to install a newer PSU in this older workstation, the HP Z240. This model came in different variations. One did have a single 6-pin GPU connector, the other didn't have any at all. So what if you wanted to run a newer GPU, or maybe just a slightly better budget GPU? Well, it's as simple as removing the old power supply, connecting the adapter between the 24 pin and the 6 pin, as well as this little header here, which I'm actually not even sure what that what that's for, which the Dell models don't have this. It's specific, this little header is specific to the HP. Then connect all the rest of the cables just like you normally would, and there it is. Now we're able to connect the 1060 that I'm using just because it was already in here, as a test, but theoretically now we have these dual 6 plus 2 pin connectors, so we could do the GTX 1080, the 1080 Ti, the 2080, the 3070, it opens up a wide range of GPUs that we could possibly put in here. But there we have it, a new power supply and an older office type computer. And now, depending on your power supply, you can run all manner of cards in here. Do you think it can emulate PS1? F*** it, Cloud. Now, I know some people are going to be thinking about bottlenecks, which, while it's true that they will exist, from a practical standpoint, if you're just looking to do some budget gaming, you can probably run a pretty serious GPU without any significant bottlenecks. And you should be perfectly fine with a lot of the systems that these adapters are targeted towards. For example, our Dell back here is running an 8th gen processor processor with DDR4 2666 MHz RAM. And when it comes specifically to gaming, I've even had a lot of luck with the i7-6700 6th gen i-series processor that's in this Z240. And that combo, the i7-6700, in the Z240 is something I frequently see on eBay for around $100. So it provides a really solid and inexpensive base that you can add your GPU to. And in a previous video I did called GPU Does Anything Else Matter for Gaming, we saw that a decent GPU can take you a seriously far away even if the rest of the components are older. So again, we're seeing some some serious potential for budget PC gaming here. All right, so that's all for today. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you all, and I will see you later.